The Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is calling for the passage into law of the nuclear bill put before Parliament. The bill, according to the Commission, will allow for the establishment of an independent nuclear regulatory authority that will ensure safety, security and safeguard of new nuclear materials. This came up when the Commission met with the Parliamentary Select Committee on Energy. The Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is the government-mandated institution to oversee the regulation of items and devices that produce radiation. These are used in industries, health institutions, research centers, and in our homes. To enable the proper regulation of the application of nuclear energy in these areas, the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission developed the nuclear bill and put it before Parliament to be passed into law. At a three-day meeting held at Kofodia, members of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Energy were briefed on the operations of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Professor J.J. Fletcher of the Commission disclosed that the passage of the nuclear bill into law can set the stage for the nuclear power program to add to the country's energy mix. He said passing the bill into law will assure the nation and the international community that Ghana will use nuclear energy for peaceful purposes and observe internationally accepted standards of safety and security. An official of the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation said the ministry will give the needed support to ensure the success of Ghana's nuclear program. The Director General of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, Professor Benjamin Nyarko, said Ghana will benefit immensely with the passage of the nuclear bill. The actual benefit is that we are going through this process to enable us to uh, acquire nuclear power plant for electricity generation. And when you generate the electricity, people will get enough energy in their homes and the energy crisis may be over and also it will add up so that we can get affordable energy. The chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Energy, Adam Asima, identifies some sensitive areas of operation targeted by the bill. This bill will ensure that the right type of equipment, the right type of uh, materials are brought into the country to regulate the importation of such uh, equipment our hospitals use so that we do not actually create problems for the people. You know, today in Ghana, there are a lot of microwaves being imported into the country and all that. So this bill is actually to establish an authority that will be able to regulate these issues. Ghana has been a member of the International Atomic Energy Agency since 1960 and analysts say the country stands to gain from the international body if adequate structures are put in place to ensure the success of the country's nuclear program.